get up, you go to your job, you work, you go home, you get up tomorrow and do it again. You work for yourself, you do the exact same thing. You get up, you do your job, tomorrow you're gonna do it again. Rinse and repeat every day. Sadly, it's not going to change. You're gonna get up and you're gonna do whatever that job may be again tomorrow. And tomorrow may be a Saturday or tomorrow might be a Sunday. And it doesn't matter whether it's Monday or Saturday or Sunday, right? You have a job to do. You may have a full-time job. You may ha sell, resell as a part-time job until reselling makes enough money to become a full-time job. But it's still basically the same. One day at a time. People get really, there's a lot of People get confused and there's a lot of confusion in can you make a full-time income working for yourself reselling on eBay well certainly you can but then it's relative to a full-time income so what are we talking about fifty thousand dollars a year you could you can make a thousand dollars a week reselling buying stuff from yard sales and Goodwill and Salvation Army. Every day you buy a handful of items and every day you sell a handful of items. Every day is the key. It's the secret. People get discouraged when their sales don't add up. They don't they can't sell enough to make any money and they get discouraged and they start they, they want to give up you can't give up if the items you're buying are not selling simply just buying the wrong items your individual taste can affect your sales because it's your individual taste your your view of quality your idea of fashion that can cause you problems somebody says hey take a look at my take a look at my store look at all the stuff I've got listed and I look at it and I'm like well, I don't I don't know your prices are probably too high you go, well, why are my prices too high well I, you bought something for a dollar and now you've got it up for $50 and nobody will buy it. You've had it up for sale for a few weeks. What does that mean exactly? I, you've got it priced too high. People don't price stuff to sell it. They, they price stuff because they want to, they're trying to get like a home run with every item. Every item is Oh my gosh, if I can buy something for a dollar and sell it for $50 and I can sell 10 of these a day. Well, yeah. Sign me up. I'll, I would love for you to teach me how you do that. There are people out there that tell me that that's what they're doing. And maybe they are. I don't know. What do I really know? I don't really know. If they are or they're not. It just seems unlikely. You know, is it possible to go to yard sales and pick up items for dollars that you could sell on eBay for fifty dollars? I'm not saying it's not possible. It seems unlikely, and I wouldn't hang my hat on it if I were you. I'd plan on getting up every day and doing whatever your job is. If your job is a job and you go and you work and you come home and then tomorrow you're gonna to do the same thing that's exactly what you would do if you were self-employed except you have to manage your own time nobody tells you when to start you know 
they don't tell you when to stop and if you don't manage your own time correctly and you you don't keep up your inventory and your accounting well you run into some problems and I and I hate to see people running into problems because they don't understand how to account for inventory costs and to figure out how much profit they're really making because it looks like I bought something for a dollar and I'm selling it for five dollars it looks like I made four dollars but in fact you really didn't make four dollars you you have fees and shipping that you have to account for and when you get into the nuts and bolts of that one item you also have your time so you could say that your time was the value of your profit and that's why you're making four dollars and how much time it takes to create that listing or post that item up on Amazon for sale. There are so many factors in there that people aren't accounting for. The gas that it took to drive to wherever you went to to purchase the items. What is that time division and gas? What does that carrying cost look like? Every item has a carrying cost associated with it. And you have to divide down all the costs associated with that one item and divide it by the number of items that you've purchased to figure out what your real cost is going to be so you'll know what your real profit's going to be. I, I see people all the time, I bought something for $10 and I sold it for 100 and I made $90. Oh, well, maybe. But you also spent months and months and months looking for items and when you were finding other items that you could sell for five or ten dollars, you come up on this one item. So what is the time division? And it's people don't account for all of this costing to understand really what you're making. And that's the hardest part of working for yourself. And it doesn't matter if you're working for yourself doing a service business or a resale business. You know, a service business is just equally as difficult because you have to be able to count for all the time that you spend doing I mean you open a business and you're gonna wash cars for a living and people don't calculate the cost of the time along with the cost of the materials that they use to perform whatever that job function may be last time I'm gonna say it we're gonna get up and we're gonna do the same thing every day Tomorrow is a new day. I'm Dave. This was Drive Time. And I'll see you soon.